you guys welcome back to my channel today we had a very important topic that I actually talked to you guys about a few times I've mentioned it over the last few videos um, but I finally get the chance to sit down and share my journey with the Daniel fast your girl was dang near vegan for 21 days in January and I I need to come on and talk to you guys about it mainly because I'm not sure that fasting is really a thing that a lot of Millennials especially the Daniel fast that a lot of Millennials get into these days um, and I can see why <laughs> really underestimated the Daniel Fest or just fasting in general before I did the Daniel Fest in January and God pretty much just blew my whole mind and I really feel like it has set me up for a super crazy amazing 2020 like the first month really this whole time so far in 2020 but the first month of 2020 was ridiculous I mean I just felt like I was sitting on God's kneecaps like I just felt so close and felt like I could hear him so clearly um but that came through an interesting journey with the Daniel fast so if this is your first time and you've never seen a video of mine welcome I'm sorry I completely forgot that part my name is Gabrielle I also go by Gaby and here on the channel we are Miss GCH and I'm super pumped that you decided to join me today and that you have some interest in the topic of fasting or maybe you just clicked on this for another reason I don't know but regardless of the reason you're here welcome um I really hope you get something out of my journey and what I share with you all today so um my motivation for doing the Daniel fast this year so let me give you a little background my family um, really my parents have always done the Daniel Fest as long as I can remember like they pretty much start every year that I can remember doing the Daniel Fest and I remember that they used to do it really like intensely and if you don't know what the Daniel Fest is my bad I probably should have started there the Daniel Fest what is this so maybe let's just first of all give some background around fasting so fasting itself is not exclusive to any particular faith um, at least as far as I understand it people fast I know people do like intermittent fasting as um, a diet strategy or just fasting for certain things for a period of time just because that's what they want to do um, and a lot of times from that perspective it's around health or dieting or something like that but fasting in the context of faith particularly the faith that I can speak on which is uh, Christianity um, it has its roots in scripture and it's rooted in the story uh, in the book of Daniel in the Bible that talked about a period of time where he was tested for three weeks so in that passage it talks about he essentially ate no pleasant food um, you know things that make us happy the food that makes us happy um and no wine no anything like that and essentially at the end of that period of time daniel talks about just having a greater spiritual life mental life um just being more physically fit just being in a better state after that period of time and so the daniel fast is based on that and so um a lot of times most churches that i know do it at the start of the year as a way to just get your mind and body and soul and spirit everything ready for the new year uh, that's coming up and whatever the Lord wants to do through that and just you know clear out the distractions and just really get focused in on what the Lord wants to do through you in this new year and prepare your body accordingly um so like I said my parents have done it every year and I've always heard about it always known it but I never really got into it um personally I, I've been a part of fast uh, with the church but I will always fast something else like I never really wanted to do food if I did do food I would fast like fast food so I just wouldn't eat out um but I wasn't like being super specific about eating you know plant-based diet or something like that you know it just was like oh, I'll just leave fast food alone for three weeks and honestly sometimes I failed on that alone so um and then I social media is another one that I've done commonly and not always just during the 21 day period there are times where I'll fast social media because I just feel like the spirit is leading me to do that but yeah I would always do something else and I was never really down when I heard about the whole let's just eat plants and fruit and water for 21 days I'm just like what like wow well, no the lord i don't think the lord is calling me to do that um but then this year the lord really laid an extra burden on my heart for the daniel fast and all i can say is that it just felt like you need to do this and 
um several churches like i said always do it every year my parents church always does it every year but um really over the last year probably year and a half i have been really committed um in my giving and in my listening to transformation church and if you've been on my channel for any amount of time you've heard me talk about pastor michael todd before because he's just i mean if you know him you know he's incredible and his ministry is incredible um and their church um it's really moving into a new season if you watch the crazy face series at the end of last year like they're just god is doing crazy things and he called on everyone the online church um as well as his actual church to do the daily fast this year and as soon as he said it, it was just like oops this you cannot even run away from this anymore like you're doing this you're doing this so I was like okay Lord okay and I think I was in denial up until the day before that I was really doing it like I knew I was doing it but nobody ever tells you to prepare so that's the first area I want to start on this journey is if you are going to plan to do the Daniel Fest you want to prepare especially if you are not a person who already eats a veggie based plant-based fruit-based whatever diet if you don't eat like a vegan you need to prepare because it was such a period of adjustment for me for that first week i mean like especially coming off the holidays like i was eating essentially whatever i wanted and i went straight into now I have this super strict diet and it was just like whoa but really for the first like two three i was venture to say even first four days i didn't really eat like I that sounds so bad but I just I didn't want to break the rules which already is an awful mindset that is not the point of this God didn't do this so we could just have a set of rules that we're trying to follow like if you're focused on that you're missing the point but I felt like okay I don't want to go eat the things that I know I shouldn't be eating and I don't really have other food in my house so I'm just not gonna eat and yeah not recommended okay so you want to prepare you want to get an idea of what are some fruits and veggies that I do like to eat what are some different recipes um, looking at recipes on Pinterest on Google that are Daniel fast friendly looking up different vegan things that you know okay for a fact I can eat these things I will eat these things you kind of have to meal prep and it doesn't have to be a super strict meal prep but it definitely has to be a meal prep because if you don't you'll be like me and i mean like i was getting faint a few times i don't want to sound dramatic like it was not hospital level oh my gosh you're you know about to fall out no but i just the adjustment period was intense and like low-key hit my mood a little bit like I was just in a mood at one point and I was like what is wrong with me and it's like I just really want some chicken wings <laughs> like I don't want to do this um but I was so sure that like the Lord would reward me for my obedience I was like Gaby we're gonna do this and I literally just I got in that zone of you know I could break this and I could mess up and then I would just be like everybody else who broke it and messed up like no I want to really do this along with that I um, jumped back into my the Bible study plan by Zach Wendell um, if you all know I originally bought it back in November I think like mid-November and I started it as far as the introduction but I didn't really like jump in to doing the week by week study plan um so i said okay i'm not gonna allow this year to be like every other year where i said i'm gonna read through the bible and i don't i just spent this money on this on these books um i spent this time you know doing videos and reviews for you guys and really letting people know that this was a desire of my heart that i felt like the lord was leading me to do so i was like okay give me, we're gonna do it so um, every morning um, I woke up at 6 30 and actually in all honesty the first few days it was too hard for me to wake up at that hour because I got used to not being up at that hour um, and so I called in uh, recruitment uh, and I talked to my dad and he gets up around 6 a.m. every day and I knew okay if he calls me he'll get me up and going and I'll go read my Bible because otherwise it would just be too easy for me to say oh I'm asleep in, I'll do it at some point during the day or before I go to bed and it just would never happen so having him call me in the mornings was so essential and I would be at my desk like okay Lord reveal whatever it is you want me to hear see whatever while I'm reading your word while I'm doing this Bible study help me to see whatever you're trying to get me to see for this 2020 like really draw me in and make this exciting you know like the word already has so 
much life in it. So Lord, just reveal it to me. And he did. He delivered tenfold and then some you guys and i'm like cheesing because i've already shared this i think a little bit in the bible study video the honest review that i just did if you haven't seen it go check it out but um i've been reading the bible like a true story and understanding context and characters and a lot of the phrases and things from my childhood that i always know from church but never really knew the context like it just his word became so alive to me and starting my day like that y'all shifted everything else about my day i mean literally i would have so much energy by the time i was done i would read for about an hour so 6 30 7 30 and i would just feel so like fired up i just i don't know how to describe it but it was changing the game for me and seeing those natural just results and consequences of or should I say benefits of um, this shift in in my day by you know prioritizing the word and prayer in the morning by waking up at a decent hour by going to sleep at a decent hour like everything just fell in line and it was blowing my mind because I'm like all of these things that I've wanted for so long and I've written goal sheets for and I've said this is who I want to be and this is what I want to do and make schedules and listen all of these things that were so hard for me to do like I would set out with good intentions and just fall off like now are all falling into place with some you know minor changes here and there but minor changes that were actually kind of monumental for me were just changing everything the main things I think about when people are asking like well why are you fasting like what do you what's the purpose of this and what are you getting out of this and i told everyone that the reason the lord really called me to do that this time was to show me the importance and the value of discipline um i think discipline is so underrated so underrated discipline and consistency but i feel like without discipline you can't have you'll never achieve consistency although the two go together it's hard to be consistent without the discipline to be consistent um and so the lord was showing me that discipline was the missing piece and it's hard to say out loud like wow I'm, I wasn't disciplined or I'm, I'm, I don't believe that I was being a disciplined person. For a number of reasons, it's very easy to fall out of discipline. Um, you know, you just get a whole lot of immediate gratification and reinforcement from doing the things we want to do, sitting around on watching Hulu or procrastinating on social media or, you know, doing all of these things that fill our time. You know, it makes us feel awful, but in the moment it feels good. Yet when we just do one little thing to change, to shift and interrupt that um, and really get ourselves focused on discipline, it just, it changes the game. And it really changed the game for me. When I boil it down, what was the point of it? And it had nothing to do with the food y'all like it I promise you it had nothing to do with the food it was every bit about me committing to something saying like this is what I'm going to do making a commitment to the Lord like Lord this is for you and this is what I said I'm going to do and I'm going to keep my word and then coming up with a strategy to keep that word so being disciplined waking up at a certain hour sticking to somewhat of a schedule being flexible when needed but definitely sticking to a schedule and then just watching the favor of the Lord pour out y'all like that 21 days I had so few distractions and that's not to say that the enemy didn't come at me and really try to trip me up like he was like oh you want to be all super down for the Lord and like really about your business and you know submitting to God and really tapping into this area that he really wants you to tap in so your potential can just go crazy like you really think I'm gonna just sit here and let you do that and so there were periods of time where I just felt like the enemy was just in my ear just in my ear but but I had a strength um, and even at times where I felt like I failed whatever test was coming at me the recovery period was so much different because I was in my word because I was in prayer because like there were so few distractions like I put a limit um, as well on my um, social media apps on my phone during that period of time so I don't know if you all know this but like the screen time option on um, Apple devices and you can limit yourself to a certain amount of hours on certain apps and then they'll like shut down and you have to like put in a code to get back in 
and so I limited myself to two hours a day on social media but I didn't even feel like I had to like there were days where I wouldn't even use up to two hours because it was like my commitment to Christ and my my view of the fast and just where I wanted to be was so primary and everything else fell in line like everything else was just not as important like I don't know me and Jesus were just like this um and also with that being 21 days I don't know if you all know this but um they say that it takes 21 days to build a habit and so what I've noticed is even though I haven't been as perfectly on top of things as I was during that 21 days what I will say is it set a precedent in my life and so every week like like I shared in the bible study video each new week you're reading the next book of the bible and I've been consistent on that even well after the fast I finished the first five books of the old testament I'm actually in Joshua now about to finish Joshua um which is just crazy for me to say out loud y'all that I'm like I just I'm in this routine like my body wakes up around 6 30 um every day already even if my alarm isn't set like I'm just man and my body was physically in a much better place at the end of that 21 days I was so like clean and you can take that literally I don't want to go too graphic <laughs> for you guys but every bit of physical uh strength and physical like benefit you could think of from living that kind of a life for 21 days it was all there and I just feel like I was at my best self and walking through it with other believers and transformation actually uh, every day had a daily prayer where they would go live on Instagram and Facebook and you could tune in and everybody across the world was praying at the same time during this video and each day was focused on something new and it just was so encouraging and invigorating and just exciting and yeah y'all I just I never thought that I would be the person that was down for the Daniel Fest. Like, I just really didn't think that that was going to be my kind of get down. But I honestly see myself adopting a lot more of those habits um, moving forward. And actually, my body, I'm so devastated to announce this. This might discourage some of y'all from doing the Daniel Fest. But I was never lactose intolerant, like, ever ever that was never my story you know having a hard time digesting dairy products but since the daniel fast so last week i had some ice cream i had ice cream on two different occasions both times i was struggling when i tell you just full of gas just full of all the things i was like what is that like literally physically feeling my stomach in knots like what is going on um and i had had some pizza and all of these things just were not what i needed them to be like that but they did my body dirty and so i'm really concerned like okay maybe it's just that i need to ease back into it so i'm gonna ease um and for the most part i'm not huge on dairy like as far as actual milk like i've been drinking almond milk for years but cheese mm. I cannot give up cheese like what do you mean give up cheese maybe that's just a sign that I need to like start moving toward leaving those behind but that is a sad life and I don't know if I'm ready to live that life so I'm not gonna worry about that just yet okay I'm just telling y'all so you can be aware of how that went down sometimes I feel like with fasting we get comfortable with our selection of what we fast from so everybody says social media because yes it's the biggest distraction and in my mind I'm like okay social media is such a distraction it's automatically gonna be that whatever the biggest distraction in your life is but really be listening to the holy spirit because like i told you i did the diet as my fast and it affected everything else it affected my time on social media it affected it affected everything else so don't automatically think like you have to go to that social media or whatever it is that you typically go to for fasting like really listen to the lord and maybe he's calling you to do something like the daily fast or something that requires a little bit more commitment than just you know oh okay i just won't do that one thing so yeah just so many good things to say about my experience with the daniel fast and i'm so grateful to god for meeting me there in that journey and um, walking that out with me and so I just want to say like a, a huge thank you to Transformation Church and Pastor Michael Todd because it really did 
just blow my mind this year being a part of the damn fast and i definitely will do it again in the future for sure so yeah your girl essentially went vegan and she survived look at that i'm still here alive and kicking so if you guys have any questions for me about my journey that I didn't already answer in here, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. Also, stay tuned for my blog. I know I keep like hyping up the blog and saying it's coming soon, it's coming back soon, it's coming back soon. It is. I mean, it's up right now if you want to go check out MissGCH.com. But my new content isn't on there. Um, but I promise I'm working on it. I'm thinking about doing like a what I ate a blog on there so you guys can get a sense of what I ate. Like I said, I wasn't perfect. I wasn't a perfect vegan. Um, but I wasn't out here going buck wild eating pizza and, and chicken wings. I just might not have met, you know, every single little itty bitty dietary restriction. But um, yeah, I'm willing to do a blog on that. If you guys want to see anything else or want me to hit something else in a blog or in another video, like I said, drop it in the comment section. Um, don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of fun content coming. Um, I have a full schedule laid out and I also have some big news that I really want to share with you guys but I can't share it yet and I know that's so awful to say like I should have just kept it to myself but uh, I have some two, two or more big things to share with you guys but I have to wait on them. I have to wait for the right time but just make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss them. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss. You'll know exactly when I post the videos. You'll see me pop up and you can click and get all the details on my life. <laughs> okay guys, I'm getting out of here. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.